I'm standing in one of the new coolers with the carcasses and the hanging rails above me. The butcher shop says now this is one of the last full service butcher shops left in the state of Oregon. This will be specifically beef in this whole cooler right here. Then the next cooler you see will be shared by swine and lamb. Owner at the butcher shop in Eagle Point, Cameron Callahan says breaking down meat on hanging rails is a lost art in the United States. He says most meats now are cut by machines, prepackaged and shipped across the country to be sold. Some of the shop's employees are excited to start breaking down carcasses in-house. Especially our young guys, they really want to learn how to do this. Because once they can do this, they can go anywhere, anywhere in the United States and work. Callahan says the new system allows everyone to support local farmers who may not have enough animals to fill a truck to ship out of the state. Callahan says it will keep local animals local, feeding people here at home. It also could save $2,000 in shipping costs for a farmer with about 20 animals. We pay the farmer above what he would normally get if he were to ship it out of the, out of the uh, state of Oregon to California, per se. So we're actually paying the farmer more money and we're still making the same profit. Callahan says shipping costs and the impact on the environment will go down with the shop processing their own meat from beginning to end. The way you saves the consumer money because there's no middleman. So it's very, very minimal handling from the farmer to the consumer. These are another example of how the butcher shop is trying to reduce its carbon footprint. Leftover meat scraps and bones from carcasses are used, part of their dog food program they've been doing for about five years. So 100% of the animals coming through the butcher shop are used. Covering your news in a 34-degree cooler in Eagle Point, Aaron Nilsson, News 10.